The overall layout of your page should look fine right now, but it doesn't quite look right. For starters, uh, we don't actually have images here. Of course, you could use the images that are in the design mockup, but that doesn't make much sense because those aren't images of your actual projects. In situations like this, it makes sense to have some type of placeholder image. Uh, right here, we have placeholder images that simply show how large they are. Right now, I'm using placeholder.it which is an awesome website that makes really fast and easy placeholder images. Each image simply has its dimensions printed inside it. To use images from placeholder.it, simply follow the pattern here. It's just an image that starts with placeholder.it, slash, and then the dimensions. Inside the source code for the website, we can see a lot of links using placeholder.it. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna change this image from 960 by 350 to 1000 by 350, and I will save it. So when I refresh the page, we should see that this turns into 1000 by 350. And there we go. The image is a little bit larger. Of course, these are pretty boring, and it's important to have fun while you're working. So instead of using placeholder.it, there are other services. Placepuppy.it is an even more fun way of including placeholder images. Look at those cute dogs. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, you can use placepuppy.it slash the dimensions here, and you can also include these in the page. Let's give one a shot. We'll come back to here, and instead of placehole.it, let's make it placepuppy.it and 1000 by 350, and we'll save it, and let's come back to our demo, and when we hit refresh, <laughs> we, we have the top of a dachshund staring at us, and it's adorable. So that's another way of making your life a little bit more fun. Uh, but for those of you who aren't dog lovers, there's also kittens. Adding cats to the website is as easy as using placekitten.com, and it follows pretty similar syntax to uh, placepuppy.it. Cats make me allergic, so I'm not going to use them, but uh, you, know, you know what, tell you what, let's try one out. All right, so placekitten.com slash the dimensions. So let's, instead of placepuppy, let's make it placekitten dot com. So we have placekitten.com instead of placepuppy.it and we have the same dimensions. And when we refresh the page, now we have an adorable cat staring at us. So you've got options for making your life a lot more fun when you're building websites. Which of the following placeholder images do you prefer using? None, because using the real images is probably the best strategy. Or do you like using placeholder.it because seeing dimensions is really helpful? Do you like placepuppy.it because seeing dogs just makes your day better? Or do you think that kittens with placekitten.com is the way to go? If none of these, uh, type your answer in here and let us know which one you like using.